God is love and those who live in love live in God and God lives in them. We have come together today in this outstanding place to share this very happy moment with Ryan and Katrina. We praise God for he is the source of love and affection that brings our friends here today for the start in a new episode in their lives together. Let us pray. If you wish to sit down then please do if you have a seat. Almighty God, we praise your name, for out of your overwhelming love you made this world and it is good. Out of your overwhelming compassion you made us male and female, that we might live in loving harmony and it is good. We praise your name, for down throughout the generations you have always been faithful to your people, shedding your love all over the world. We give you thanks this day that Ryan and Katrina have responded to your loving gifts in worship to you and that you have blessed them by bringing them to this point today where before you and their friends and family they commit themselves to one another. We pray for them and ask that the love that they have for one another will grow stronger and stronger as the days go by. And may this day be a time that they will look back on as a source of strength and joy for them both. Lord, bless them and keep them. Give them, we pray, all the love and all the resources to keep the promises that they will make today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What we do today is done to mark a very important point in the lives of our friends. We come together today in the presence of God to give thanks for the gift of marriage, to witness their joining together and to share their joy. We come to surround them with our prayers and to ask God's blessing on them so that they may be strengthened in their commitment made today. And as they make this commitment, we take a few moments to consider what marriage is. Marriage is ordained by God. We know this because Jesus was present at the wedding in Cana. And we see that God is involved in marriage and blesses marriage with his ongoing loving presence. We believe that Christ is there in the marriage of a man and a woman. We also believe that marriage is provided by God for the good of society and for the raising of a family. We believe that God is the creator and that he creates out of love. And that it is only in love that people should be joined together in holy matrimony. It is therefore serious what we do here today. And I know that you don't come here lightly. This isn't some pretty picture. Rather, this is the highlight of your lives together. For today, promises are made before God and to one another. Let me read from 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. Love is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking. Love is not easily angered. Love keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And now these three remain faith, hope, and love. But the greatest is love. And I ask those who are sitting to stand up, please. <coughs> One, another and say, <coughs> One question to ask you before we proceed. If either of you know of any lawful reason why you may not marry, <laughs> you should say so now. <coughs> please repeat these words after me. I Ryan to you, Katrina. I Ryan to you, Katrina. To be my wife. To be my wife. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. And before these witnesses. And before these witnesses. I promise. I promise. To be a loving. To be a loving. Faithful. Faithful. And loyal husband. And loyal husband. To love and to cherish you. To love and to cherish you. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better and for worse. For better and for worse. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, till God shall part us by death, till God shall part us by death. Katrina, please repeat after me. 
I, Katrina, take you, Ryan. I, Katrina, take you, Ryan. To be my husband. To be my husband. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. And before these witnesses. And before these witnesses. I promise. I promise. To be a loving. To be a loving. Faithful. Faithful. And loyal wife. And loyal wife. To love and to cherish you. To love and to cherish you. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better and for worse. For better and for worse. For richer and for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Till God shall part us by death. Till God shall part us by death. Rings the symbol of your unending love are given and received. <laughs> By this sign you take each other to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live. Let us pray. Blessed be God and Father who gives joy to bridegroom and bride. Blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ who brings new life into the world. Blessed be the Holy Spirit who brings us together in love. May God bless you and guard you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look kindly on you this day and every day. Amen. Amen. Since Ryan and Katrina have declared in the presence of God and before you, their friends and family, that they will live together in Christian marriage, and that they have symbolized that marriage by joining hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I therefore pronounce them husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, no one must separate. Would you like to give your wife a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to give them all a hand?